afternoon. I'm Sharon DePruitt, the Associate Principal. Welcome to the 2011 commencement for Justin Ford Kimball High School. Please stand as we welcome the 2011 Kimball Honor Line. These students, led by valedictorian Andre Acosta, have maintained high academic achievement throughout their past four years. standing as we welcome the 2011 graduating class of Kimball High School, led by senior class president Darius Lewis.
Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Let us prepare for commencement. My name is Earl Jones. I'm the proud principal of Justin F. Kimball High School. I would just like to welcome you to the commencement exercises of the 2011 graduating class. We all gather together today to pay honor to the class of 2011. They deserve our utmost respect and sincerity as they have traveled a long, challenging road to get to this day. I'm asking to, to please refrain from the loud and boisterous yelling, noisemakers, and anything that would be disrespectful of these graduates. Every graduate and his or her family deserve the very best ceremony and have the right to hear the name of their graduate when it's called. The ushers in our suits and the security staff is here to get our crowd settled. They're here to support you in any way possible. But they are also here to escort disruptive noises or individuals out of this ceremony as it will be a very dignified ceremony for the class of 2011. Your assistance will help provide the very best graduation for each student. Thank you in advance for your cooperation to ensure a dignified graduation ceremony. At this time, I would like to bring to the microphone our number two student in the class of 2011, our salutatorian. This young man has worked very hard to remain the number two student in the class of 2011. Please welcome our salutatorian, Alex Watson. Good evening, faculty, friends, family, friends of family, family of friends, friends of faculty, family of faculty, faculty of friends, friends of friends, and friends of friends of faculty. I am Alex Watson, a salutatorian of Kemper High School's class of 2011. It's been a long year, and for some, longer than others. But by the grace of God, you made it. Congratulations, class of 2011. We all made it. When I was first asked to write this speech, I did the first thing any student would do. I went to Google. And as long as I stated all my sources, things would work out just fine. Thanks, Ms. McGee. The first article that came up was some ancient speech from 1999. And I figured that wouldn't work, so I gave up. Still hopeful, I went to YouTube and got sidetracked looking at Kid Cudi videos. By the way, LGB Johnson III and Juan Hernandez, he goes way harder than Kanye West. And Nick, we all know Gucci man sucks. But I still didn't have a topic. But I think I what to put in my speech, I considered three important things. Courage, ingenuity, and friendship. These three words are the bias of the most boring speeches ever written. I began to think of what would make my speech incredibly interesting. I can't, and I came up with nothing. There's nothing I can say that would not bore you to death, so I choose to say nothing. The end. Just kidding. This has been a long year, and for me, the road to becoming the salutatorian has been funny. For some reason, everyone has their own idea of what our salutatorian looked like. They picture him to look like a modern-day Steve Urkel with glasses, overalls, flooding pants, suspenders, button-down shirt, short, and running around school screaming, did I do that? Of course I don't have glasses and I'm not short like my bro Trey Hunt, but I like to think I knew a lot. But for some reason, knowing a lot doesn't always work in your favor. In fact, most of the time, it means missing very special moments like girls, and I refuse to not get in a girl. But this speech gave it all away. It looks like I'm not as dumb as everyone thought. I'm here to tell you, it's wrong. It's wrong to judge a book by its cover, but make sure you, the cover you present represents a person you can look back and be proud of. People underestimating you can be the best weapon you possess. As you sit among me today, I see future leaders, people who will grow up to become doctors, lawyers, and strive to make the world a better place. 
People who will find the cure for cancer. People who will make, who will think up the next billion dollar idea. I'm here to say that this is the beginning of success. Set a goal while you're still young and go for it. But remember, to set the bar high because success is not a destination, it's a wide impact. I would like to thank my parents and family for your never ending love and support and for all those second chances and for never giving me up for adoption. I would like to thank all my teachers for never accepting my bribes, always giving me a hard time, making senior year one of the most stressful years of my life. And special thanks to Mr. McDuff for accepting all my food bribes and Ms. Mack for pushing me and believing in me and to the class of 2011, which I'll never forget. In conclusion, I would like to mention the following people who paid me a dollar to say their names in my speech. Daniel Neal and Denzel Neal, the inseparable twins, Marjani Washington and Marjani Washington, who paid to hear my name twice, I mean hear her name twice, Lacey Howe, also known as Thickness, Tylen Hill, and just because you're my bro, free shout out to just Josh. Thank you. Mr. Watson, would you step back up, please? Thank you for those encouraging words. I know 2011 know exactly where you're coming from, Mr. Watson. As our salutatorian, I would like to present this medallion to you and congratulate you as being our salutatorian for the class of 2011. Congratulations. We will continue with our program at this time. Uh, those choir members, our choir is preparing for a number, so prepare for a selection from the Justin F. Kimball Choir. Those of you who are, we, will be joining the choir, please do so at this time, graduates.
thank you, Justin F. Kimball, choir. Under the direction of Mr. Bruce Lemiel, choir director, uh, excellent job, thank you for that number. You know, parents and guardians, so many of you have waited a long time, 12 to 13 years for this day. Along the way, these graduates have had support throughout, uh, starting from, of course, their families, all the family members have supported them, but they've had staff members and teachers and, and elementary teachers and middle school teachers and high school teachers to support these young people to get them to this point. Many of our staff members are with us today. They align our graduates and there are also some in the crowd. I would like for you uh, to take a couple of minutes. If I could have all the Jess Neff Kimball faculty and staff members, would you please stand and step out and be recognized and receive their applause for supporting our graduates. All of our staff members, please stand. Thank you, Justin F. Kimball faculty and staff. You're an excellent staff. These graduates have been blessed to have been able to be involved with you and your classes. At this time, I, I want to prepare to bring to the microphone the number one student of the class of 2011, this young lady has worked hard, and of course, I know she and Alex and several others have battled for the number one spot throughout their high school career. When it was all said and done, this young lady came out as a number one student. This is our valedictorian. I am so pleased and please welcome to the, plat to the podium our valedictorian, Ms. Andrea Acosta. Mr. Acosta? To Ms. Carla Ranger, School Board Trustee, our Principal, Mr. Jones, the Administrative Staff, Faculty, Parents, Friends, and Fellow Classmates, good afternoon. Thank you, Mr. Jones, for that warm regard. To my fellow classmates in the class of 2011, I thank you for this opportunity to speak to you as a whole. Today is a turning point in each of our lives. We have spent the past four years wandering the house of Justin F. Kimball High School and now we are ready to move on. Hasn't four years flown by that fast? Wow, it just seems like yesterday. When we first came to Kimball, we were all skeptical, naive freshmen. We have all been pulled out of our comfort zones and pushed into a completely new environment with new rules, new teachers, and new peers. One of the things I most admire is how we came together as a class. At first, we formed special groups and cliques as we segregated ourselves. But over time, we grew together through the good and the bad to form a family, the class of 2011 family. We have learned, laughed, loved, gotten into trouble, and most of all, matured together. Supporting each other along what has been a magnificent four-year journey which served as the foundation of this great successful class. From being there when a friend needed us, to creating study groups before semester and AP exams, to cheering the basketball team to their 4A state championship title this year. However, today is not only about the memories of the past, but it's also about looking forward with great anticipation to our future. Life is a series of passageways. We are leaving one and moving into the next. Many of us are going to different universities all over the state and even over the nation. Great universities such as UT Austin, Hook'em Horns, UTA, UNT, Texas Tech, Texas A&M, but as well as local colleges such as Mountain View or Accenture, or many other colleges and universities. It doesn't matter where we get our education, as long as we get an education. We will meet new people, make new friends, and encounter new experiences. Our lives will hold many challenges for us, but I'm sure that we will be able to approach them with ease and confidence. Next. I'd like to take a moment on behalf of myself and my fellow graduates to thank the people that have brought us to this point. First, I would like to thank our teachers, faculty, and staff at Kimball High School. School districts across Texas are facing major budget cuts and forcing teachers out of their jobs. It's a tough job to take a group of fresh minds and try to show them the skills of life that they will need to be successful. But I can truly say with such confidence that we have some of the greatest teachers here at Kimball who are not worried about quitting on their students, but instead are worried about the future of their students. 
Teachers such as my calculus teacher, Ms. McMullen, or as we call her, Ms. Mac, who has stayed late nights, early mornings, weekends, and even holiday breaks to be with us. She would do anything for her students, from buying food to picking them up and dropping them off, all in order to help us pass her class and the AP exam. Other teachers such as Ms. Shikawa, Ms. Oden, Ms. Wynn, Mr. Diaz, Mr. McGuire have also influenced many of us. The passion for teaching is what they carry with them at all times, regardless of the budget cuts or exit out bonus. These gifted and loving human beings will continue to teach the future leaders of this great nation. We can also be thankful for our families. These past four years have presented us with a lot of ups and downs, and it's good to know we have our families supporting us along the way. Thanks to all the moms, dads, and guardians. We wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for all the help and support that you have given us. Fellow classmates, get to know your loved ones and cherish every moment you encounter with them, because tomorrow is never promised to no one. Be nice to your siblings. They are your best link to your past and the people most likely to stick with you in the future. Before the parents go crazy with their whistles, signs, and air horns, I would like to take a moment to cheer for them. So fellow graduates, let's take a moment to give our loved ones in the audience a round of applause for helping us achieve this moment in life. As I continue, I would like to dedicate a couple of words to my family in Spanish. Me gustaría dar las gracias a mi familia por ayudarme a llegar a esta etapa de mi vida. Sin ellos, yo sola no pudiera estar aquí el día de hoy, en frente de todos ustedes. A mis padres, el señor Ángel y Antonia Costa, gracias por su cariño y amor que me han dado estos 17 años de mi vida. A mis hermanos, Ángel Jr., Anabel, Ani y Abraham, gracias por todo lo que han hecho por mí. También gracias a todos mis tíos, tías y primos, porque todos de alguna forma o manera me han ayudado con mis estudios. As a final thought going forward, I'd like to leave you with a couple of my own twists from Lady Gaga song, Born This Way. And no, I'm not going to sing to y'all. <laughs> we are born the same, born into a human race, born to dream, born to live a good life, born to be successful in this world. We are all but superstars. But it's up to us to make it happen. So just keep your head up and you'll go far. No matter if we are African American, Hispanic, Mexican, Chinese, or Anglo, we were born to be brave, and we're all beautiful in our ways because God makes no mistakes, and baby, we were born this way. Parents, invited guests, teachers, and students of the graduating class of 2011, thank you for your attention, and God bless. Well, Ms. Acosta, we can tell and see why you're number one. Excellent speech. I think we, your, your classmates will be able to take a lot from that. Once again, as the number one student of the class of 2011, our valedictorian, Ms. Andrea Acosta. Congratulations. She thanked everyone for good reason, because there's so much support. The Dallas Independent School District divides its, its schools into uh, learning communities. And Justin F. Kimball happens to sit, and we're under the West Learning Community. And I'm pleased to share with you that our, our senior executive director is with us today. And I would like to introduce her and just have you give her a round of applause. She is our leader in the West, Ms. Cynthia Goodsell. Ms. Goodsell, thank you for being with us this afternoon, Ms. Goodsell. As we continue on with our program, I am very pleased now to bring to the podium, our, the senior class president, Mr. Darius Lewis. Mr. Lewis will introduce our speaker. Mr. Lewis. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. To the senior class, we made it. We did it. We out. Well, I'd like to present our board member, Ms. Carla Rogers. Uh, Rangers, I'm sorry. Presenting, mm, hold on. Too big for this, man.
District 6 Carla Ranger was elected to Board of the Trustees of June of 2006. She graduated magnum cum laude from the University of Memphis with a Bachelor's of Arts, a Master's of Arts from the University of Illinois. Ms. Rangers is a tireless advocate for education and the importance of reading, which inspired her in 1999 to create, to create what has become a very successful and nationally recognized African American reading during Black History Month. With more than 25 years experience of higher education, Ms. Rangers is the District Director of Educational, Educational Partnerships for Dallas County Community College District. Ms. Rangers has served on the Dallas ISD Educational Task Force, the Texas Test Briars, whoo, wait a minute now, uh, Review Committee, and the National the National Council of Black American Affairs. She focused on students' success and has helped numerous of students re receive scholarships from academics and creative arts. Ms. Rogers has a husband, D. Marcus Ranger, uh, DJ, have a son, Mark, who is, a honors, who is graduated with honors from Skyline High School and graduated from the U.S. Armed Force and was also a former uh, Armed Force Captain. I am pleased to welcome Ms. Carla Ranger. Thank you very much, Darius. Darius is one of our outstanding members of the teen school board and was very effective on the school board in supporting students' needs and activities. So let's give Darius a hand for his service. This is a happy day. And everybody out there, all of you, any family member, any friend, teachers, you ought to be smiling. Just bubbling over with joy and all of that energy from those smiles should be felt by these students. This is the beginning of a magnificent opportunity for the graduates of Kimball, for every young man and young woman sitting in front of me. I know that you have a great deal of respect for them and for the fact they have achieved so much and gotten to this point of graduation. And I know that you realize that there are many other young men and women out there who wish they could be sitting in these chairs. So let's just, with all respect, give them the warm congratulatory applause that they deserve for having made it to this milestone. Now, Principal Jones has recognized the wonderful teachers and staff at Kimball, and they are truly making a difference. But also Mr. Jones, the leader of the campus, along with parents and uh, the community people who work with him, for his leadership at Kimball, Let's give him our thanks, seniors and everyone, for what he has done for us. Well, speaking to graduates is an honor that I always look forward to each year. I'm very proud to be the representative for District 6 and so delighted to be able to come to bring a few words to you graduates of Justin F. Kimball. Leaving high school is a milestone. It's one that you'll be very proud of and I predict that years from now you'll 
be talking to those who are younger, who are about to graduate, and you'll refer to this day. And you'll say, well, back in 2011 when I graduated, it was different then. Well, there were some things that were better then. Back in 2011, you'll have many comments and descriptions of your graduation time, your year, your day. The thing to think about is where will you be in the future when you're making those comments? The one place I don't want you to be, your parents don't want you to be, is in that land of, I wish I had done this, or I should have done that, or I could have been. That's where you don't want to be. And the good news is that you can help to shape your future so that you are not there. Your tomorrows can be better than today and yesterday. And the good news is, no matter how good you are today, tomorrow you can be better. Well, there are a few keys to this, and I'm just going to give you one. And it will be easy for you to remember, and I believe that if you keep this with you from now until you reach your next goal or your next dream, I know that we can feel confident that you'll make it. Now let me first, let's first determine something. How many of you have a dream or a goal? Raise your hand if you have a dream or a goal. And I hope we are seeing the hand of every senior there. Because everybody ought to have a dream. Everybody ought to have a goal. So this key involves your heart, your hand, your head, and your belief. Your heart, your hand, your head, and your belief. And here's a little poem for persistence because the way to make it to that dream, to accomplish that goal, is to persevere, to be persistent. Keep passion in your heart. Use the power in your hands. Put knowledge in your head. All the while seeing and believing that you can. Now every day, if you remember this and if you say it, I will keep passion in my heart. I will use the power in my hands. I will put knowledge in my head. And if I do, if I see it, and believe it, I know I can, then you'll make it. You'll achieve that dream. But what, is, what does this mean? What do those words mean? I will keep passion in my heart. Well, this means having enthusiasm for life and for your dream and for accomplishing it. Having that strong, strong desire to reach your goal. Believe me, it is tireless, diligent. It's keeping up, keeping on, steady persistence. In other words, refusing to give up, no matter what, refusing to give up. And there are gonna be some highs, There'll be some lows, just as there have been in high school, only on a different scale. But when you are down, you just have to remember to get up and to keep on going, because that persistence will help you to reach your goal. You'll have obstacles, but if you have the commitment, that enthusiasm, that drive, that passion in your heart, you'll reach your goal. Then I want you to use the power in your hands. Now this means doing one thing every day, one thing, just one tiny thing every day to reach your goal. Whatever it is, you can commit to it, a task big or a small task. Realize that the only person that you can totally depend on and control is yourself. It's your thoughts, the words that come from your mouth, and be careful about those words that come from your mouth. 
you want those words to be words that you can be proud of and not those words that taint the atmosphere around you. So you're in control of your thoughts, your words, and your actions. So use the power in your hands to do just a little something every day to get towards your goal. And then put some knowledge in your head. Now what does this mean? This means getting further education or training. This means learning something new every day. Just one new something. If you'll learn an idea, if you'll learn a word, if you'll learn a phrase, if you'll learn a craft, just something every day. Putting more information in your head, knowing that you can't stop with what you've learned now. There's so much to learn out there. And in order to be prepared for the goal and the dream you want to achieve, just say, I will put knowledge in my head. And finally, because I see it, if I see it, and I believe it, I know that I can. This is important in your poem of persistence because some people can see, they have eyesight, but they have no vision. You've got to have vision. You've got to use your imagination to have in your mind what it is that you want and see yourself there before you get there every day. See it and believe it and you'll get there. So every morning and every evening, start now practicing it. It's easy to remember. I'll keep passion in my heart. I'll use the power in my hands. I'll put knowledge in my head because if I see it and believe it, I can. Now I want you all seniors to stand up and repeat this so that you can get into the habit of using this mantra to help you achieve your goal. Now I'm going to repeat it again. And family and friends, I want you to hear them say it because they will need you to help them achieve. First of all, it's I will put keep passion in my heart. I will use the power in my hands. I will put knowledge in my head because if I see it and believe it, I know that I can. I'll say it again. I will keep passion in my heart. I will use the power in my hands. I will put knowledge in my head because if I see it and believe it, I know that I can. Okay, everybody ready? All right. You may repeat after me. I, and you know you can't just say it, I will keep passion in my heart. Because that's not passion. You got to have that enthusiasm. All right? I will keep passion in my heart. Very good. I will use the power in my hands. I will put knowledge in my head. Because if I see it and believe it, I know that I can. Okay, that was good. Now that was a practice. I want you to do it again. Because remember, this is the day that begins your second phase of your life after graduation. So you've got to go on to achieve that next goal. So. I will keep passion in my heart. I will use the power in my hands. Very good. I will put knowledge in my head. Because if I see it and believe it, I know that I can. Now, every family member and friend and supporter of these students, you ought to stand up and give them an ovation for this commitment.
You all still stand. You all may sit down. Okay. Now, sometimes, class, we know that our relatives and our friends are very excited. There will be times when you may not be able to say the words, you may be going for an interview, or you're getting ready to talk, talk to a teacher, or you're going for an important meeting. Even if you don't say the words, you may use your own sign language. And that is, do it with me, I don't even have to tell you. This, very silently. Again. Very good. Kimball graduates of 2011, we believe in you and we will help you to keep that passion. We'll help you to use your power. We'll help you to get the knowledge because we believe you can do it. Best wishes to you. Congratulations to you. Keep the passion, the power, and the knowledge, the vision and belief, and you're going to make it. Congratulations. Okay, at this time, guests of our graduates, let me have your attention, please. This is probably the most important time that you've waited the 12 years to come to see. As principal of Justin F. Kimball High School, I hereby affirm that each candidate has met all requirements for graduation as determined by the state of, state of Texas and the Dallas Independent School District, and they are qualified to receive their diplomas. Ms. Ranger, Trustee Ranger. Mr. Jones, parents, friends, and faculty, I am pleased to award these diplomas, certifying that these students are graduates of the Dallas Independent School District. As we prepare to issue diplomas, guess I would ask that you cheer for your student, of course, but quiet down right afterwards because these names will be called. We want every student's parents and guardians and grandparents to hear the name of that graduate as he or she makes their way across the stage. I appreciate your cooperation, guests. Andrea Acosta. Alex Watson. Darius Lewis. Isaac Santiago del Bosque. Treshawn Elaine Peterson. Wendy Chavez, Kimberly Alanis, 
Sylvia Mesa. Xiaoling Huang. Susana Echeverria. Jamakil Jakari Proctor. David Uyoa Chavez. Alexis Flood. Isaac Hernandez. Carilu Martinez. Anthony Ray Garrett II. Aisha Demira Cole. LG Johnson III. Isamar Baron. Deontay Harris. Lacey Howell. Desmond Houston. Luis Fuentes. Carla Mendoza. Rashad Jernigan. Ashley Nicole Crosby. Carlos Esparza. Daniel Ruiz. Demarcus Henderson. Shakrisha Shakrisha Spurlock. Edgar Delgado. Adriana Rodriguez. Guadalupe Quintero. Cynthia Gonzalez. Nicholas Morel. Abigail Flores. Martha Flores. Alejandro Lucio. Joshua Blocker. Soledad Garcia. Juan Olivares. Tishina Dunn. Daniel Neal. Michael Curtis. Kanasha Bryant. Sergio Reyes. Devon Hudson. Markel Johnson Brantley. Kenneth Lynn. Angelique Allison. Alma Muniz.
Jacobo Refugio Jacobo Jr. Jazlyn Nicole Abney. Anuluwapu Afawobi. Nicole DeAndre Allen. Orlancia Ashwood. Courtney J. Austin. Miracle Barnes. Asane Patrice Barrett. Antonia Essence Batten. Kendra Brown. Ileana Cabrera. Lucerito Cayetano. Cristalia Campbell. Teresa Canales. Miguel Carmona. Paris Carroll. Francisco Castillejo. Jesus Cesena. Luis Cepeda. Dominique Chapel. Antonio Chavez. Aaron Clark. Deontay Cotman. Marisa Daniels. Maria Luisa de Lira. Belsi de la Rosa. Ivan Delgado. Ashley Durham. Marcus Edwards. Joshua Ellis. Max Escalante. Martín Espinosa. Pilar Estrada. Jasmine Renee Fennin. Miranda Victoria Fierro. Beatrice Renee Fisher. Isamar Flores. Austin Franklin. Pascual Frias. Zedric Fulton.
Graciela Galicia. David García. Jorge García. Giovanni García. Destiny Purity Garland. Denise Garza. Lakila Livingston. Alexis Nicole Goss. Antoine Gibson, Esther Gibson, Angie Gomez, Cecilia Gonzalez, Edith Gonzalez. Selene Gonzalez, Manuel Gutierrez, Maria Gutierrez, Mario Gutierrez. Anthony Hamilton, Brittany Hampton, Darius Hampton, Euquasia Hampton. Brianna Hager, Juan Hernandez, Aquila Hightower, Tylen Hill, Monique Hubert. Brian Huff, Trey Hunt, Patrick Island, Atticus Jackson, Tavia Rochelle Jackson. Yusef Jackson, Quincy Martez James, Helena Jameson, Darius Jenkins. Marquise Jenkins, Shaquilla Porter, Anthony Johnson, Ashley Johnson, Davion Johnson. Samaria Johnson, Brianna Jones, 
Darren Jones. Jalen Jones. Shelly Monique Jones. Shirley Brianne Jones. Kelvin Kazee the second. Destiny Patrice Land. Darius O'Brien Langley. Oscar Dwayne Lewis Jr. Maya Sheree Lindsay. Edwin Martinez. Jose Mata. Kiwan Mathis. Zachary Mays. Derwin McKellar. Demarcus Meadows, Saul Mendez, Emily Mendoza, Erica Mendoza, Santos Mendoza. Sir Mark Mitchell. Erica Morales. Daniel Moreno. Tyler Mosley. Kevin Quiroz. Dominique Moss. Irian Albertstein Miles. Denzel Neal. Isaiah Norton. Richard Ochoa. Ivan Osorio. Ernest Overton III. Joshua George Parker. Latashua Violet Peoples. Berenice Perez. Briania Shanleria Perry. Ashley Nicole Pete. Mario Alberto Piña. Destiny Polk. Alejandro Ramirez. Christian Antonio Ramirez. Maribel Ramirez. Ricardo Ramirez. Brian Paul Richardson III. Ed 
Edgar Rios. Stephanie Rivas. Cristina Anaí Rodriguez. Luz Maria Rodriguez. Reinaldo Rojas. Xavier Alexander Rosas. Madonna Santiano. Maleni Salcedo. Pedro Silva Jr. Alex Lionel Umania. Paula Singrasa Samban. Casey Nicole Snow. Roxanne Solorzano. Fabian Soriano. Jeanette Soto. Trenton Stanton. Deandrea Starling. Techu Tanahu. Arthur Taylor. Belvin Taylor. Mariela Tejada. Simone Terry. Terry DeQuelan Thomas. Andrea Marcela Treviño. Joanna Judith Treviño. Marjani Washington. Brittany Nicole William. Icabria Rakeev William. Jordan Williams. Takadric Deontay Williams. Brad Wilson Jr. Kimmery Nichelle Wingo. Jasmine Lene Wright. Desiree Yerena. Daniel Yole. Nicholas Zaragoza. Tanya Singrasabout.
Class graduates, would you please stand, graduates? Graduates, at this time, would you please move your tassel from the left to the right? Ms. Anu, would you come to the platform, please? Anu? Graduates, please remain standing for the singing of our school song. Up after the completion of our school song, we will, you will have a seat, and then we will proceed and prepare for the recessional. Audience, if you'll please remain seated as we prepare for a recessional right after our school song. Ms. Anu is going to lead the class and all of our Kimball alumni in our school song. Ms. Anu. Hey, okay. <clears throat> we are the Knights from Kimball High, ever strong. All right, graduates, you may be seated. All right, Mr. Williams, we will prepare for a recessional. <clears throat> <clears throat> 